What can you say all about the issues that rumors like about the Passport Bros? So I consider myself a leader of the Passport Bros. What is your first impressions with Filipinas? Filipina women are gorgeous. Like, I'd be in trouble here. It's not just the physical beauty, but their personalities are fantastic. Every woman I've come across. Hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. This is on the Philippines, or welcome if you're new on this channel. For today's video, guys, we had another special guest. Oh, I'm special now. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, El Guapo. How are you? I'm good. What's good, team? Salute and <laughs> salutations. Welcome to Giselle's channel. Yeah. I'm your not so humble co host, El Guapo, and I am honored to be here with you, madam. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's a pleasure for me. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, El Guapo is. Um, uh, a vlogger, a YouTuber, and you do that kind of stuff. Can you tell me a little bit, you know, like where are you from? Can you share? Sure, uh, yeah. sure. So I am a 45, almost 46 year old man uh, from the United States. I live on the East Coast near Washington, D.C., the capital. I'm married. I have four children, uh, three daughters and one son. And uh, I have a regular day job, so uh, I don't do YouTube full time. Uh -oh. But uh, but uh, I enjoy uh, YouTube. I enjoy my YouTube family, uh, my team that supports us over on my channel, and and I love spreading the message. Yeah, actually, guys, this is my first time to interview a black guy. Uh oh. A very kind, good guy right now. So. I'm not that nice. <laughs> you're very you're very friendly, so I find. That's so good. So, thank you again. So, El Guapo, I have some basic questions here since it's very, you know, um, very rare for me actually to interview an expat or like you. Gotcha. Yeah, in this channel. Cause Ask away, I'm ready. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you. How would you describe the content of your channel and do you plan for it or? Yeah, so my channel, uh, the content started out with success stuff. I do a lot of Passport Bros oh, yeah. uh, uh, content now. Um, just because I am married to a foreign woman, I'm married to a Colombian, um, and I've dated internationally for on and off for what, 15, 16 years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You have three children. It's a four. Like, four. Four. Three girls, one boy. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm done having kids. I, I got that <laughs> fixed. We're done. I'm done. <laughs> okay. So this is your first time in the Philippines, right? That is correct. Yes, my very first time here. So wow. this is the fourth Asian country I've visited. I've been to China, Japan, Thailand, and now the Philippines. Wow. What do you? What makes you come to the Philippines, if you don't mind me asking? A couple of reasons. Um, uh, one of the biggest reasons is uh, the content creators here. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, people like Mike's Philippine Retirement. You. Wow. I, I actually reviewed a video with you uh, and Leia thank before. You. Yes. Uh, it's one of the biggest videos on my channel. Um, so many of you are, are uh, such create uh, such great creators out here, and I believe in building a strong team. I, I know that we're always going to be better together than we we would ever be apart. The other reason I'm here is um, I do business. I, I have a partnership with a company called Christian Filipina. Wow. We've been in business for about a year now, wow. and um, uh, it's even though I, I promote it and I partner with them and I believe in everything they're doing, I had to come see it. So wow. I came and see it, and I'm a true believer now, man. Y'all, listen, Giselle is taken, <laughs> but if you're single, this is the place to be. Exactly true. Yeah. Because I was partner with Christian Filipina as well. Oh, there you, know? you go. There you go. You know, and I'm glad I make those people happy with this kind of dating service. You Absolutely. Know? Thank you, Giselle, for taking me to this site. Yep. You're the best. You're the best among the best. I said, you're very welcome. Yeah. I wanted to help the way I can. It's a very good service. Yes. You have an affiliate link? Yes, I do Make have. sure you guys hit Giselle's yeah, hit, affiliate link. That one. Invest in yourself, okay? And don't always try to take the cheap option and everything like that. Sometimes saving time and energy and effort is what will make or break you in life. So uh, go ahead and, and, and give it a try. I think you'll be thoroughly impressed. I'm going to tell you right now, and I love my wife. Absolutely yeah. love her. If I did not have a wife, as much as I love Brazil, as much as I love Colombia, as much as I love Thailand, I will be looking for a significant other here in the Philippines. That's wow. the truth. Yeah. So speaking of Philippines, how was your um, experience in the jet lag? Do you experience jet lag or like that? I, I, I'm getting older, so jet lag <laughs> is hard for me. 
Um, I planned for it. I tried to change my sleep schedule a little bit a couple of days early before I came over here. And I even timed my flight from DC. I flew from DC to Tokyo wow. and then from Tokyo down to Manila. So I tried to time like when I slept on the flight to Tokyo and it worked out pretty good. I was a little off for about a day, yeah. but I'm, I'm doing good now. What do you like um, um, on this trip so far? What do I like on this trip yes. so far? The weather is fantastic. Um, if you have a chance to go to Manila, uh, go to the malls. The Ayala malls are incredible. I <laughs> I've never seen anything like that uh, in my life. Um, great restaurants. I did go out and see some of the nightlife because most of the guys on my channel are single. So I went and oh. saw, yeah, I, I had to go. Yeah. You yeah. know, um, and then I just, the people are so friendly. You all are the friendliest, nicest, most accommodating people I've ever met in my life. Wow, that's good. So. What is your first impressions with Filipinas? You know, what are your first thoughts when you see Filipinas? Do you shock or what's your, what's your, you know, just a thought, just a thought, just give Giselle me an honest Giselle trying to get me divorced. Reviews, on just an honest reviews. You, you want know? the truth, right? Yes, I want the truth. So I said I've, and, and, and um, shout out to your, your boyfriend, John. John. Shout yeah. out to John. And I mean this with all respect, sir. Filipina women are gorgeous. Like I've I've seen you before. I've I've reviewed your content. When I saw you in person, I was like, "Good God, <laughs> wow, man, yeah." Here's what's crazy. Almost anywhere else you go in the world, if you see somebody like on YouTube or Instagram or something, and then you meet them in person, they don't look as good. Yes. Y'all look better in person. <laughs> yeah. I, and so that my first impression is that these women are so naturally gorgeous. Um, and it's incredible. And it, it also shocks me. I'm a big guy. I'm a you what, are. six two. Yeah. You are tall. And you women are so petite. Even though you're like what five four five five. Five five. It's. I mean. All respect to John. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that I. I'd be in trouble here. I would be <laughs> in trouble okay, here. Just be honest. Absolutely beautiful women. And then it's not just the physical beauty, but their personalities are fantastic every woman I've come across. I actually met the owner of the hotel I'm staying in. Wow. And she's an older woman and just such a great personality. It's so cool. And here's the other thing. You all are a lot like black people in the United States. You don't age. Yeah. Like you could be 40, 40. and look the same. <laughs> That's crazy. To, I, I thought my community was the only ones that were like that. But you guys don't age at all. Wow, really? Yeah, really. That's so kind. You're, yeah, it's the truth. It's the truth. Once again, all due respect to John and my wife, Labea. I'm just telling you what I, you asked me what I yeah, saw. Yeah, thank I saw. you for your honesty. Man, these women are fine, Very, man. very kind. Breaking my neck everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the locals that you encountered? Let's say what, you're walking. What mm -hmm. about the locals? What do you feel like their impression seeing you walking like a black guy here in the Philippines, specifically in the Maggette? Yeah. So uh, curiosity, uh -huh. you know, I, I've only seen two other black men since I've been here. One yeah. was from Africa. The other one I saw uh, on my way here to the, the hotel for us to shoot. And he was on a scooter. And those are the only two I've seen. I've been here, what, three, four days. Wow. So I, I know that we're kind of uh, exotic here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But everybody is super nice and respectful. I went to Beijing, China. Wow. To um, uh, go see the Great Wall of China. Yes. And I, I'm telling you every Chinese person stopped me on the street wanting to take pictures. Like they really? were like, yeah. So you were like a, um, what do you call it? Oh, what do you call it? They were like very popular. It was like a celebrity. Yeah. Celebrity? I think it was just, they had never seen anything like that oh. before. But I haven't had people come up to me and be like, oh, can I take a picture and stuff like that? You all are super respectful and I like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I can tell Filipinos are friendly. Yeah. You know, super we used friendly. to smile, even if we don't know you, but our face like, I mean, that's me. I, yeah. I, I smile. Yeah. Not in a way like I'm trying to want an attention, but we're just right. trying to be friendly. You're super friendly. I was yeah. in the military and I was telling a friend of mine, I've been called sir here more than I was called in the military. You know, <laughs> hello, sir. You know, I, I, yeah, yeah, it's everywhere I go. So, yeah, it's super re re respectful. The locals are awesome. I could be walking down the street and a guy could be sitting on a bike and he'd be like, hey, hello, sir. You know, that's so cool, man. I love it. Thank you. So. Dumaguete City is a known city for expo like that because mm -hmm. I've heard you know a lot of visiting. Would you, um, as your as your observation seen in Dumaguete, would you suggest 
expat to visit Dumaguete or? I think you need to be an older expat. Older expat. Yeah, an older expat. Older, yeah. I would say about 55 plus, um, like 10 years older than me. Okay. Yeah, you need to be an older expat. There's, it's, it's like a, a very sleepy college town here, mm -hmm. uh, but it's nice and there's so many hidden gems. Like look at where we are right now, it's gorgeous yeah. here. Yeah. You know, but you've got to kind of be like content with a daily routine and everything like that. You're not gonna go to a ball game here or anything. No, you no. know. But it's it's very tranquil, extremely peaceful. I love it. Thank you. That's yep. so kind. Yeah. So I noticed, okay, let's go back to YouTube. Let's go back. Sure. So talking to your YouTube, what can you say all about the issues that rumors like about the passport pro? Do you have something to say about that you know if you don't mind me asking yeah so i consider myself a leader of the passport bros um not many people have the resume this sounds arrogant but yeah. it's the truth yeah um i've been traveling internationally over half of my life i've been to a ton of different countries i literally have business licenses in another country um i have a foreign wife you know i have a child with a foreign wife so there's 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 not many people that can approach it from this angle uh a lot of people it's just ignorance you mm -hmm. know people talking on stuff that they don't know anything about um and then a lot of it is hate because yeah. uh it's hard when you realize you're not the better option yeah when you realize that the competition is so good and you are so far behind so a lot of these people that hate on the passport bros and it's not just women it's men too yeah you're not the better option you know, you can't do what I do, and that's okay. Everybody has their place, you know what I mean? But for those that are willing to put in the work and fight and aspire to a better life, there are options out there for you that you couldn't imagine, you know? One of these days, you could be sitting next to Giselle and doing an interview <laughs> or something like that, so, yeah. Going back to your YouTube, I've been your follower. I watch your... Um, oh, thanks. I'm your subscriber. I watch your videos, every videos. I've noticed that um, there were no apologies after the Filipina clap back. What do you think about this? I talked about this. You do watch my stuff. Uh, yeah. I talked about this. Yeah. So this is the mentality of Western women. They'll do the least amount to try to fix something. Mm-hmm more often than not so they realized how wrong they were and instead of apologizing and saying we're sorry we shouldn't yeah. have done that they kind of just stopped talking about it and wished it would go away it's yeah. not going away ladies it's not going away i've talked to quite a few filipinas and for those of you that have seen that stuff you feel some type of way about it yeah. you know and yeah. rightfully so rightfully yeah. so so um an apology costs you nothing. I highly suggest you apologize. Um, I, I let me do this right now. You know, I will apologize for women of my ilk, uh, for the American black women, for the things that they said to you all because it was not right and it was done maliciously, like to hurt you yeah. and stuff like that. And we have a saying in the United States that hurt people hurt people. So they're hurting and they want somebody else to feel their pain but they should have never lashed out at you. And, and, and I apologize to you and the other Filipinas and your entire culture for what they did. Even though I didn't have anything to do with y'all yeah. did that. But, but, you know, we walk around in the same skin and, and I'm sorry they did it. But hearing it from me is not good enough. You need to hear it from them. They're the ones that yeah. uh, committed the offense and they need to fix it. And I mean that ladies, you need to fix it. Thank you so much, you're so kind, you know. The first thing that I've noticed you when I met you, like you were kind of like good man, friendly kind of person, like want to be collaborative. I'm really not that nice, but I appreciate <laughs> it. I, that's how I see it. So <laughs> you can't, you know. But thank you so much once again, El Guapo, and um, you have a YouTube channel. Of yep. course, I'm going to put the link on my description box, guys. Please do support El Guapo's um, YouTube channel for surely you are gonna learn a lot and you're gonna realize what it's need to be done and you know you'll I appreciate it visit Philippines as well so yeah. let's go back to YouTube let's go back sure. what advice would you give a young youtuber like me mm -hmm. in terms of like this you know like YouTube life what can you advise to me like how to get better how and to, to grow better, and stuff like that yeah. so one of the first things I did was I got a YouTube mentor someone that was further along in their oh, YouTube journey okay. than I was and and I paid Okay. to get uh, that mentor. Um, I took 
uh, I bought training courses and stuff like that on live streaming okay. and everything like that. And then, you know, you want to make yourself available. Sometimes you're going to be the bigger channel. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're going to be the smaller channel. But you want to build those relationships within the community yes. is what I would say. But the mentorship is key. Um, find somebody that, that wants to see you succeed and grow and yeah. um, uh, information share because they may know some stuff that you don't know and yeah. vice versa. You may yeah. know something they don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I would say. Well, thank you. Thank yep. you so much. I'm you gonna... see how much she's thanking me? <laughs> Look at this. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I always love to thank someone that who helped me even, you know. For sure. It's a big deal for me that somebody is trying to help in the way you can. And right. I thank you. I thank you for that. So uh, it's actually not for me, but the young YouTubers there that who are just starting there, you know, it's, it may be hard in the beginning yeah like, but it, it's part of the success you're not gonna be in the success right away you have to yeah. take those challenges you know yeah like that so so in the beginning content is king you have to keep putting out content it's mm -hmm. gonna be bad you're gonna go back and look at it a year from now and you're gonna hate <laughs> what you did but you have to if you can be consistent and disciplined that is the biggest thing when when starting out you have got to put the content out put yourself on a content schedule like I said, I, I have a regular job. I have 32 people that work for me at my regular job. Yeah. Um, I have another business, two other businesses. I have a wife, I have four kids. Yeah. And I make sure that I do my content. Yeah. And you're not gonna grow if you're, if you're not consistent. Uh, you can buy all the equipment you want and do yeah. all these other things, but if you don't actually put out the videos, it's, it's not so gonna good. matter. Come thank on you. over, guys. You're gonna love the Philippines. And thank you so much. I you're appreciate you welcome. letting me thank on your you channel. So thank you so much. I'm going to end this video now. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. This is me again, Giselle in the Philippines. Have a nice day. Thank you so much, Elbapo. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.